Hey, it's Ragtar, and I am back at the amusement park doing one last sweep of clues. Although, admittedly, I've already found all the really important clues that I need because I know where that jerk crow is. Well, okay, I'll admit it. I don't know where the jerk crow is, and who knows, maybe he's not even that much of a jerk, but I do know that crow is definitely not in this area because I've already seen his note that says he's not. But in the last episode, I said I would do one last sweep of the Ferris wheel, and it's already turned up some sweet items. Well, I don't know if it's a sweet item, but it's already turned up an item, an item that could even turn out to be sweet. But actually, the the place that I actually know where Crow is probably hanging out because he... Ooh, that's an item. Because he told me so. Crow specifically was like, hey... Well, he didn't tell me. I don't know why I'm saying he told me so. Because I found a key to it is the roller coaster area. So I totally know that Crow is sort of hanging out in Roller Coasterville, USA. Or even if he's not hanging out in Roller Coasterville, USA, the game expects me to go there. By the way, by ducking just now here, I totally just got myself stuck. The game is not allowing me to <laughs> uncrouch. And it's also not allowing me to walk into there. I might have just found a glitch and might have to reset the Wii. I'm not kidding. Oh, nope, there we go. I got it. That was seriously, that was scary. That might be the horror of the game. Is that they make it scary to crouch. And that's why it's a survival horror game. Is because crouching is terrifying. I don't actually think that that would be a horrible game if... Their way the, to make it scary was just to make so the controls don't work. Actually, um, what's funny about that is in some horror games, they have kind of done that. They've kind of made it so part of the fear is that your controls might give out on you sometime. And I've thought about that and be like, you know what, that's fair if you know that it's built into, the, like, if it's a mystery, it's not fair, hey. but... It's the kind of thing where it's like, if you know that it could be a possibility that it happens, then it, I guess, I mean, you can't blame the game because they've made it clear to you that you might get, like, accidentally murdered by the fact that the controls um, get their shit all fucked up on purpose to scare the shit out of you. Dude, I don't like the birds, though, because... They have a certain, it, I won't call it an invulnerability, because it's definitely not an invulnerability, but they're strong against the fact that my spinny move, which is totally overpowered, um, it relies on them being down close to me, and they're only down close to me when they're down, like, this bird, look at this bird. Oh, no, dude. I was seriously like, this bird is never going to come at me. I'm never gonna get a chance to kill. And then finally, when like I wasn't ready, all right, we gotta wait for the bird to come at me, I guess. And then, okay, bird, be braver. Attack me. You're the shittiest bird ever. Whoever programmed you should be a sad, sad person who cries themselves. Look at this. Ah! Oh, you can't even. Okay, whatever. Whoever programmed you, bird, I'm gonna call them up and be like, hey, you totally messed up when you programmed this bird. Your intention was that the bird be actually able to do stuff, and instead, your result was that this bird sucks at being a bird. Oh, there he is again. It's probably the same ass, probably the same dumbass bird trying to trick me. Oh, here he comes. Ah! Yeah, bird. See? I don't get tricked by your trickery ways. That, that bird was trying to use his wily skills to cheat me out of my dreams and destiny, but I was just like, no way. I don't get treated out of my dreams and my destiny by some bird. No effing way. And we're talking about... I'm going to talk about negative space again. I feel like in this area in particular, this particular carnival... He like... Maybe there is something significant about this Ferris wheel or this thing because... Or maybe my battery's going out of my... No, because the thing's still pointed at the screen. Anyways... There have been several places I felt like while I've been in the uh, the carnival area that what happens is I'll go search in them, but like they just didn't put anything and they just made the area way too explorable based on how much stuff there is actually in the area. But now, 
the big reveal. I have a key to the roller coaster, and this door says it won't budge. Hopefully the key opens. Maybe I didn't save after I got the key, no? What? What, what, what? Where? Let's check my map and see if it shows any locked doors. Now I'm confused. I thought that was clearly, <laughs> clearly, clearly, it, oh, maybe it's this door. I forgot there was a door over there. Oh, that also, what's, I don't, if I, I wish, if, if I could only read Japanese, that would be helpful. Because I do have a key. Well, let's check my inventory, see if I actually have a key called the roller coaster key, because now I'm second guessing myself. Key to roller coaster. Okay, okay. So I've got a key to the roller coaster. I suppose I'll try out this other side. For some reason, my like first instinct was that I was going to need to go through this door immediately over here. I was like, oh, the roller coaster key. There's a big ass gate. The roller coaster is looming off in the distance. But maybe what I didn't notice was that the roller coaster is looming more off in the distance over here. It's like more in this distance than it is over in that distance over there. I mean, realistically, if you look at that gate, that looks like it's actually like the entrance to the entire theme park itself. So clearly that can't be it. Yeah, this has got to be... What? Not before I get my locket. Wait, wait, what? I'm confuzzled. Dude, I'm actually legit confuzzled now. I was going to the roller coaster to get his locket back from Crow. And now he's telling me that... He can't go now because he needs to get his locket back. I'm I'm actually legitimately super confused. Maybe Crow is over in the one of these areas and I just missed him. Cuz I didn't actually I feel like I didn't actually see a crow note. Did I see one over in the roller coaster area? This is so weird. All right. Where did I not see a note from Crow? I saw one there, yep. I saw one... there. Dude, okay. I guess I gotta go back to- Okay, so the Ferris wheel is significant. Which is funny, because I was talking earlier about how insignificant the Ferris wheel was. I was like, dude, why would they put a big, obvious thing in the game, like the Ferris wheel, only to have it, like, play no role in what's actually happening? So I guess I'm gonna head for the Ferris wheel once again. This time in hopes. See, look, it's such an obvious landmark where you would, like, expect things to happen, and yet I wasn't able to find Crow here. So I guess now I just have to hope that I do find <coughs> Crow here. Alright, that doesn't do anything. Um, Let's get in the Ferris wheel. Oh, <coughs> nope. Getting in the Ferris wheel also <coughs> does nothing. Well, shoot. So I've already explored every area. Crow has already revealed to me that he's not in the other two areas because he actually like left graffiti. Oh, these birds are back. I don't care about these birds. Oh, look, there's a door over here. This surely must have something to do with Crow. Oh, but no, he won't do that because <laughs> he is convinced that Crow is still in this area. Well, shit, maybe there's a Crow graffiti over in this area. Did I run out of health? What? No. That's bizarre. Wowzers, I must have died because I just wasn't, like, paying very good attention to my health at all, but I found another crow note, as you can see, and hopefully now, because I found all the notes from crow, maybe the, maybe I'll be allowed to leave areas. Nope, see, he still wants his locket back from crow, but the funny thing is, though, He's like, I'd better try other areas, but clearly, that means I found graffiti from Crow in all these areas, so it's like, what other areas? I figured as long as I was back at the bonfire, I might as well read the memories of all my objects. Yeah, Mama. It's fun. Let's go. Let's go to Papa's place. I feel like I'm in a bad mood. 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 もう帰らなくちゃ。僕の右の手のママ。僕の左の手の風船。何が起きたの？ママ、どこへ行ったの？誰かママを知らない？誰か、誰か。
風船と僕。一人ぼっち怖くて、蝶々が飛んできた。夢中で手で捕まえたんだ。両手をじっと見た。僕は真っ赤な目で。ああ、僕は本当に一人になっちゃったんだね。ねえ。帰ろうよ。パパに今日のこと、たくさん話すんだ。もう、泣いているカラスもいないよ。And for the class photo memory. 悔いのない一生を送る。それが俺の人生最大の目標だった。その目標通り、俺は一切悔いなく今まで生きてきた。勉強もよくできたし、大手会社にも入社できた。金にも困らなかった。欲しいものはある程度変えた。病気も俺には無縁だった。もちろん入院なんかしなかった。全くもって、すべて丸く収まった。いい人生だった。はずなのに。なのに悔しいよな。俺が死んでいくこの瞬間に、一緒にいてくれる奴が誰もいない。Oh, okay, so when you go back after you found all his notes, or maybe this note was here all along, I didn't even know, but apparently Crow is by the merry-go-round. I think what you had to do was find all three of the Crow graffitis and then come over here, because I don't remember this being here before. But yeah, as I walked past that, he was like, you idiot, well, you just read the notes, so you know what the notes said, I don't need to tell you. But yeah, I was very confused because I had no idea, like, where Crow was. I'm sure now that'll trigger a scene. Yup. Look at that. I, he evaded us the whole time. Ho, you ya k o i t s i t a m i t a i d a n a Oi, oi, o k o t t e n o k o i k a o s h a t t e s a k a i s e s o r e a b o k o n a n d a d a i j i n a n d a b a k a n h i t o t s o b a m i t a i n i u r u s e n a 返して欲しかったら捕まえてみなって Okay, so it looks like he's going to the Ferris wheel, but oh, catch Crow as he circles the merry go round. When you catch up to him, press A to nab him. Crow's fast on feet, so it might not work. Okay. Well, he ran off this way, so let's try going this way first, I suppose. See, so the point is, they're like, you're not gonna catch him, so you might as well run the other direction, and then hopefully he takes a little bit of time to turn. Oh, he does, but I wasn't close enough, I guess, because I did not nab him nearly as well as the game made it seem I would. Damn it! See, A is also attack, so I'm wondering, like, if you have to be, like, right on top of him. See, look, I'm like, there. Okay, yeah, you have to be pretty much on top of him, or more on top of him than I thought. Okay, okay, so now I have to go to every area, which I guess I'll start off the next episode with that. This has been Ragtar, thank you for watching.